The federal government has been advised to take it, uh, investment in agriculture seriously so as to ensure the country produces enough for self-sustenance. Uh, this was the crux of a program organized to feed young children in slum areas in Lagos. Ayoyimi Kadeniye reports. Ajegunle, a suburb of Lagos, is home to many who attack the have-nots. Many of them are believed to live on one meal a day, which is often not enough. According to this year's State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World, about 4 million people face moderate or severe food insecurity in Nigeria. It also states that 36.8% of children under the age of 5 are experiencing stunted growth and 49.8% of women of reproductive age have anemia. This formed part of the reasons for this outreach, organized by the Candlelight Foundation. We are here at the Oridulu slum in Ajegunle, and we're here to mark the World Food Day, um, International World Food Day that was yesterday, by giving the indigents or the residents of this slum um, some much needed relief items, including things like food, um, hygiene packs, um, clothes, and some other items. Food is very, very important to human existence because an angry man is a hungry man. If you don't have food, you won't think right. There are so many things, you just be destabilized. But once you eat, you know that yes, you can be able to do so many things that you are supposed to do. Food gives strength, food gives power, food gives, in fact, it makes you very sound and strong. This group believes that more investment in agriculture will see to the nation being sufficient in food. I believe that we can produce what we will eat in Nigeria. Do you understand? Obviously, Climate and all that, you know, comes into play when it comes to certain types of food. But the point is, the things that we can produce, we should produce. The government of Nigeria definitely needs to take agriculture so, so seriously. With the theme grow, nourish, sustain, together, our actions are our future. World Food Day 2020 calls for more resilient and robust agri-food systems and for global solidarity both vital for recovery from this crisis and for rebuilding farming societies. Ayoyimika Adeni, TVC News, Lagos.